I enjoy farming. I enjoy the challenges with it. I like the risk of the commodity markets. I like the risk of the weather, and you kind of thrive on it. You get a dry year. It's not as much fun as a wet year, but it, it it's enjoyable. It's a gamble every year. My name's Trey Hill. I'm a fourth-generation uh, grain farmer in Rock Hall, Maryland. The farming business was started by my great-grandfather. Since been passed on, we're currently transitioning from my father to myself now. He still works every day, but he's assuming less responsibility all the time as I pick it up. It's kind of a natural family progression that you see on a lot of farms. We grow corn, wheat, and soybeans. Uh, the wheat all goes for human consumption to Pennsylvania, goes to flour mills. A lot of the snack foods you eat, corn and the beans, primarily go to chicken feed consumption. Delmarva is where we have a huge concentration of chickens. A lot of the chickens that feed the Northeast Corridor are all uh, grown and fed here on the Delmarva. We're environmentally friendly. Our consumers are a lot closer to us, and I think this region is much more environmentally sensitive. We're not going organic. I agree with organic, but I don't think that it would feed the world. I don't see my farm transitioning to organic. I I enjoy working with folks that are organic. However, the focus of my farming operation of Harborview Farms now is to become more sustainable. There's many, many loose interpretations of sustainable, but what that means to me is that I want to leave the land in as good as or better condition than when I started farming it. By land, I mean land, water, environment, etc. Looking out for the public good as well as my own good, but while maintaining profitability. I think that we're doing a good job of that by the different things that we've we've done. Or one is to try and utilize our nutrients as best we can so that the crop takes up the nutrients, uses the nutrients, and then we harvest the grain that contains those nutrients to feed the chickens, which then end up feeding people. No-till or conservation tillage, which is one of the most basic measures. We've been doing it for probably 25 years. This area was one of the areas that pioneered it. The advent of commercial herbicides is what allowed us to do that. Without herbicides, you can't do minimum tillage because there's no way to kill the weeds without tilling the ground and turning them over. One thing that no-till does is it helps keep sediment runoff out of the water. It makes sense for us to do, but it also is helping, hopefully, make the water in the bay a cleaner place. We're doing a lot of things different with nutrients than we ever used to. Some are by mandate, some are voluntary. When my father, what we used to do was spread the fertilizer in the wintertime on frozen ground, and that was basic practice. Then we'd till all the ground, and you just kind of spread the same thing on all your ground to make sure that you, you could feed the crop. Now we take soil samples every year as part of a nutrient management plan, which kind of goes into the mandate portion of it. We determine how much fertilizer is needed, primarily nitrogen and phosphorus, which are the two that cause the algae blooms and the pollution in the water. From there, we figure out what the crop should grow, we figure out what it should need, and we put the the fertilizer on accordingly. And then while the corn is growing, we actually come in at the time when the corn is, is kind of peaking at its amount of nutrient uptake. In other words, when the corn most needs nitrogen to, to utilize it efficiently and grow the most corn for that pound of nitrogen, we come in later and put that additional nitrogen on. There's an ebb and flow to the seasons. There's a, a rush time and a downtime, which I think that life, for me, having grown up that way, I enjoy it. I like working 90 hours a week for a couple months out of the year, six months out of the year, and then having some time where you don't. And it kind of gives you, a, it keeps life interesting.